I feel like I'm an artist because of what happened with my mom. She died suddenly. She died of a brain aneurysm. And it was an explosion in my life and put my family on different paths that was irreversible. I'm always gonna carry pain and sorrow in my life and grief. But I think because I've known grief and sorrow so well for so long, that I know joy so well. I feel like with installation art, you never really know what you're going to get. There's a lot of experimentation, and there's a lot of just kind of sensing what seems to be the next right step. I was asked to use Fuller's magazine that talked about the move. Pomona. So I read it from cover to cover. After finishing it, I really felt this overwhelming sense of how much grief it must have been and sorrow because there's all this anticipation to move the campus for this very, very momentous move and then for it to be retracted. Personally, it, it has touched on my own grief of loss. I've been going back and forth to this poem by Rilke. There's one line that says, if the drink is bitter, turn yourself to wine. And so as I was reading that last week, I had this moment where I thought, I really want to dye some of this paper in wine. I feel like visual artists are in some ways prophets in the world. You know, the message comes in ambiguous forms and abstract ways. Part of the reason why I had decided to become an artist is because, you know, looking at modern artists in particular, it took me to a place that felt spiritual. I feel like that so mirrors our faith journey, that we are meant to kind of be taken into this place that is wordless, that is, you know, sublime, into this quiet where we can really hear God's voice. did was bring in all the boxes, which was like incredibly 
tiring, if I could be honest. The main thing I did on the first day was to map out the area of where all the paper pieces were gonna hang. Second day was putting in all of these screw eyes. Yeah, and then into the third day, we really started getting into the hanging. Today, the fourth day? I mean, what day is it today? <laughs> Thursday. So hard to remember. Um, it's the fifth day. Oh my gosh, it's such a blur. Installation work is something that is made, you know, for the moment in the moment, and it'll never exist the same way again after. I think if we discontinue the belief that time is linear, that it's just kind of marching towards this end and that's it, if we start seeing it as more of like a plane, a surface, where um, God and people are all operating on kind of this time and space continuum, if you will, that is all um, affecting each other. And so I feel like my artwork, I'm trying to make an impact in the moment that it's up, um, and then it lives on in, in people's memories, and then it kind of continues on. There's so many things that I had discussed and learned at Fuller that still stay with me today. And one of those things was, you know, talking about Karl Barth and his idea on Thaumazine, this Greek philosophical term that roughly translates into a wonder that points to the divine. That has, has always stayed with me. And, you know, that's another kind of goal in my work is to kind of create that sense of, that sense of wonder. My hope is that that'll translate into this, this question of, you know, why are we even having these experiences? What are some of the meanings of art? You know, how is this affecting eternity? You know, how is this affecting this idea of the kingdom? You know, for believers and we believe in this idea of time going on and on and on, you know, then what does art say to that? It's touching on this idea of the immediate moment that we're in, that it's not just a fleeting second that has no influence on the next moment or the moment after that. How we're affecting what's to come and what's to come beyond when we leave this world.